Your top story, Kasatu is embarking on a massive nationwide strike today. The Trade Union Federation is planning 13 marches in all provinces. It says it has the support of workers and civil society groups. The planned mass strike action to protest state capture and President Jacob Zuma, Kasatu supported by SACP, will lead the marches in all major cities and deliver memorandum to the state and private institutions. Workers wanting to participate in the strike are protected from facing any consequences at their workplace. This after Nedlac issued a Section 77 certificate covering this event. Both Kasatu and SACP have called for President Jacob Zuma to resign. Divisions over the ANC leader have led to a breakdown in relations within the ruling alliance. The strike has been criticized by the South African Federation of Trade Unions and NUMSA as well. Much against uh, state capture and corruption. And of course the problems of state capture and corruption cause more other problems. If a country is viewed to be corrupt and captured by corporations, the levels of investment lower. You will know that there is over 1.4 trillion rands in the South African economy, which is a conservative estimate that is not invested in the productive sector of the economy because the investors are skeptical about what will happen to their finances. Now, corruption and state capture in that particular way contribute to the persisting high levels of unemployment, poverty and inequality associated with unemployment. And of course, this is our country, this is our democracy. We cannot go door to door campaign for the ANC only to have a few individuals capture power and use it to enrich themselves. Dealing with the COSA too much today. Um, obviously from 9 o'clock uh, Jerusalem will be blockaded as they will be gathering um, at Kosatu House on Jerusalem Street um, and uh, we are anticipating them if they move on time by 11 they should uh, start moving to Metro Centre uh, that will be at uh, Civic Boulevard and then uh, they will then um, move away from uh, Civic Boulevard to Hofte Street to West and then get into Simmons where they will, the, the second stop will be Bank City, where all the banks will receive from that memorandum. And uh, then they will proceed uh, on Simmons towards the Premier's office, where they will hand the set memorandum, and then uh, still proceed on Simmons and turn into Marshall um, to go to Chamber of Mines to uh, hand over the last memorandum. And uh, they will then get into uh, Prixley Kassere and then get into Albertina Sisulu for them to go and disperse at Bayer Um we, we are anticipating, if they move on time, that around um, 15, 15.30 uh, we should be... Um, um, have dispersed every every matcha. But uh, in the event that it runs a bit late, uh, we will try and push that. By 1600, uh, uh, all the matchas are out of the inner city so we can start dealing with uh, the traffic uh, that will be leaving um, the inner city to, to so we to in different parts of Jobek. Well, joining us now to discuss this further is ANN7 reporter Natasha Perry. She joins us live uh, from uh, Kasatu House uh, in Johannesburg. Good afternoon to you, Natasha. We briefly chatted uh, earlier. Now, we do know that various uh, organizations are in support uh, of this march uh, with Kasatu, the likes of the SACP, but the likes of NUMSA not necessarily in support of this. Has there been any word from uh, the uh, ANC? What are they saying about this march? Well, very good morning to you, Abigail, once again. Just to correct you on that, on a lighter note, you said good afternoon, but it's still, uh, you know, uh, quite the early hours of the morning. And indeed, Abigail, as you've... <laughs> Definitely. Indeed, as you've indicated, um, you know, we attended a press uh, conference yesterday uh, where the ANC in Johannesburg, I mean, in Gauteng, had actually reiterated uh, their support for this march, saying that, uh, you know, the entire alliance uh, here in Johannesburg will be joining in on this uh, Kusat and SACP-led march. Of course, just reminding the viewers once again against issues of state capture, corporate capture, corruption and job losses, more especially in the mining sector. Uh, you know, as of now, you know, earlier on I spoke to you, it was 
quite slow, but uh, more people are actually starting to trickle in in their numbers. Uh, you know, there are members uh, here behind me, but there are also members that are actually starting to congregate here, uh, you know, by the park. We've seen lots of police contingency, police coming in, Johannesburg Metro, police officers also uh, coming in. But Abigail, I'm actually joined by a very interesting character, uh, Uba Broni Nachel, who's actually an ANC member who also, you know, uh, heeded to the call of uh, the leaders here in the province to actually join in on the march. Papa, thank you so much for joining us on ANN7. I mean, as I've said to, uh, you know, my colleague Abigail in the studio, that, you know, the ANC and GP had said that they are going to come in and they are going to support, uh, you know, the, the, the Lions partners in this march. You've also come in here. Just briefly tell us where you're from, um, how long did it actually take for you to come in, and the reasons for you in participating in this march? Uh, I'm from Pomalanga, Whitbank. I work at Johannesburg uh, Hospital. Uh, I'm an ANC member. Yes, we as the ANC support this full match because of all the things said, uh, the state capture, the job losses and everything. We feel that something better could be done about all this. That's why I'm joining this match. And there was also a debate around, you know, the, the, the reasons for this march. Some people saying that this march is actually bigger than Jacob Zuma itself. As an ANC member, what is your opinion of that? Yeah, I could say that because, remember, the, the, the march is not about Jacob Zuma as such. The march is about empowering the lives of those black people, the unemployment that's around South Africa, the job losses that we have in minds and this private sectors. It's all about that, basically. So now you'll be joining and you'll be also going to the city of Johannesburg, the Premier's office, uh, the Chamber of Mines, the banks as well. You know, as, as part of also supporting this uh, motion of handing over memorandums, what, what do you think? What are you expecting out of this? Um, I, I'm expecting a big turnout of it because uh, this, the, uh, the memorandum that we are, we are taking are things that are basically happening that everyone is aware of around Gauteng or around South Africa. So we are hoping that at least our leaders would listen to us and at least better. We are not expecting change overnight, but at least we are expecting that throughout all the memorandums that we have submitted, we haven't had answers. We, we, were, we were giving them about seven days to respond, 14 days. None of them has responded yet. But today, I think it's going to be positive. We are expecting a, a, a response from all the places that we are going to. Earlier on, I spoke to Alex Mashil of the SACP, and I just asked him that, you know, in his own capacity, personal capacity, does he think that this march is actually, uh, you know, unifying all three tiers of the alliance, the SACP, COSATU, and the ANC? In your own opinion, do you think that this march is actually unifying all these alliance members Amidst uh, what, what's actually been happening before, we know that the alliance isn't in a good state, it's in tatters. But is this march seen as unifying all, all three alliance partners? Yes, the march is. Remember, uh, we have identified our mistakes as different parties and whatever. And like we say, together we can stand to be one. And if we do something unified, then obviously it's going to bring us a positive result. Thank you so much for your time and all the best. I see you've got your cap on, you've got your jogging shoes on. Yeah. It's still a long way to go. Thank you so much for your time. Well, Abigail, the viewers, you've heard it from Ndatero Nachal, who is an ANC member, and he's indicated that, you know, this march to him is somewhat symbolic of, you know, unifying the alliance that we know that uh, the current state of the alliance is in tatters. Alliance partners, Kosata and SACP have called on uh, President Jacob Zuma to, you know, step down. But as the gentleman has said that uh, today is not about President Jacob Zuma, Alex Mashila from the SACP has also reiterated those so same viewers saying that, um, this march is bigger, uh, you know, than President Jacob Zuma. This is against state capture. This is against corporate capture and, uh, you know, corruption. Abigail, I'm told by uh, Norman that the GS will actually be brought in. So let's just actually add some lip service to this. In terms of logistics, Abigail, I understand that Johannesburg is the central point of the march around Gauteng. So lots of buses will be bussed in, lots of people, hundreds and thousands of our workers will be bussed in from various places. 
uh, Johannesburg, Pretoria, Soweto and other places. And remember, they'll go to the Chamber of Mines, the city of Johannesburg, uh, the banks as well, all these various places. And we'll be handing over memorandums. Uh, as uh, the gentleman has cited that, he hopes that somewhat these people will actually be, be coming back to them. As today, they're somewhat of a united force. And, you know, they've got more people actually coming in and joining in on this march. So as to whether, you know, we will get a response or not, they will get a response or not from these people. We are not sure. But Abigail, right now, let me just rope in Uba Begin Tlaili Tlaili, who actually tell us about the logistics as well, what's going to be happening today, uh, you know, and, and all these uh, these sort of things. But Peggy, thank you so much for joining us on ANN7. It's always a pleasure to have you. Uh, quite a long day that you guys have ahead of you. In terms of logistics, just please take us through logistics. Where um, are you go go going to start in terms of handing over the memorandum? You mean here in Gauteng? Yes. Uh, the province is not here, but in terms of our information we have, we're moving from here to the municipality, from the municipality to the Department of Labor, from the Department of Labor to the banks, to the FNB, and then from there, and then move to the Chamber of Mines and end up in the Premier's offices. But now let's just get to the gist of the matter. Yes, you guys are marching against uh, state capture, uh, corporate capture, but also this also falls in the backdrop of uh, you know some unions like AMCU, NOMS, and them saying that they won't be joining in on the strike. I mean, as Kosatu, what do you have to say to that? Look, they are not Kosatu affiliates, and we cannot speak for some other people. They are free to do whatever they, they decided to do. Our call is that there is a state capture, there's a corruption, and we want to raise our voice and say no to state uh, capture and corruption. And we will want to see people who, in principle, who are opposed to, the, to this march and say, no, we like uh, state capture, we like corruption, and unless, of course, they're part of that corruption. So we're not worried about uh, what other people may be saying, but there are millions and millions of South Africans who say state capture is bad. The public, uh, public protector report says it's bad. Even business, for that matter, they say the question of state capture and corruption is bad. Even the African National Congress and the alliances they hold, they've come out quite clearly and said state capture and corruption is bad. So we'll not be worried about fewer people who got a different view. That is not our business at all. I've asked Alex this, I've asked an, uh, a gentleman from the ANC saying that this much seems to unify uh, the alliance, as we know that the alliance is in tatters. Do you think that this, this strike, this national day of action, is somewhat unifying all three tiers of the alliance? In the provinces, there's not much differences uh, that is beyond the differences within the alliance uh, per se. But among the alliance partners, there's not much discomfort in terms of corruption in terms of state capture. All of the three organizations, or four, if you include Sanko, saying state capture is wrong, must be dealt with, which is a positive thing to say that everybody seems to be singing the same song, the same tune. There will be those who are beneficiaries of uh, state capture and corruption, but we should not be worried about them. As long as the voices came I mean, louder and louder every day that this thing is wrong, I think we're going to make a positive uh, start. And talking about a positive start, what reaction are you expecting from the banks, the city of Johannesburg, the Chamber of Mines? Is to acknowledge that this is a problem, but every organization involved in these things, you can't be just pointing fingers to the others without even looking internal and said, what are we doing within our organization to resemble the point that we're have a, cl a clean government and get the credibility that when you talk about it, people can say, it. indeed, that organization internally is fighting corruption and maybe something that we can learn from them. But you can't be pointing to others when you just leave corruption wherever you are. It will be like question that you are, you are a hypocrite, you are pointing others, but you are not looking at yourself. So we have to look to ourselves within our own organization. We are looking quite uh, carefully. I mean, there are accusations within some of our unions. We're not turning a blind eye. We're addressing those issues as much as we can. Okay, but Peggy, just last question before I keep you. Um, in terms of logistics, how many people are we actually expecting? We understand that people are going to be bused in from different, uh, you know, cities around Johannes, I mean, around Gauteng. We were told by the Gauteng, which is the, the body that is really involved in this thing, that they're expecting around 100,000 workers. 
of course, depending whether unions will be providing transport, the complaint we are having now is that uh, there is not much transport provided for people to come straight here. So we are making the call to people and said, use the transport that you normally use. If you got a car, you use train, you use buses, you, you can't make an excuse of not being part of this on the basis that there's no uh, transport. Thank you so much. We will catch up with you uh, later on and all the best for today. Um, of course, Abigail and the viewers, that was Uba Peggy and Charlie and Charlie. Just taking us through the reasons of, uh, you know, today's march. Uh, in terms of logistics as well, saying that over 100,000 workers are actually expected uh, to actually make their way here. Um, but also, you know, just behind me, I've got workers there who are singing. Uh, you know, people quite jubilant. The atmosphere here in Johannesburg is quite jubilant. Uh, more and more workers are set to come through. Through. There's also a nearby park uh, that's by me where workers are actually also congregating there, um, maybe somewhat looking for shade or something. Uh, but Abigail, all I can say is that there is going to be a very long day ahead of us. And also, if you can just probably see behind me, there are members, um, Kosatu members, just coming off uh, a taxi. Also in the numbers, the bus full of members actually making their way here to Kusatu House as well to also join in on the march. And as you've heard, um, authorities have said that this march is somewhat uh, supposed to end at about 4 o'clock, um, you know, later on today. So indeed, a very long day ahead of us. Mo motorists also caution to actually use other routes as, uh, you know, traffic in Johannesburg will indeed be disrupted. But Abigail, for me, Natasha, it's back to you. Of course, we will give you, uh, you know, rolling coverage as promised throughout today. Natasha, uh, thank you very much for the update. Just stay with us. Uh, as our viewers can see, we've got reporters uh, across Gauteng. We've also got a reporter in Durban, and we will be keeping you up to date with developments coming from Cape Town as well. But uh, with that said, let's move over to Durban now, where ANN7 reporter Patisa Mfuyu is on standby. Good afternoon to you. Good morning uh, to you, Patisa. I'm still getting used to this morning uh, uh, shift and morning bulletins, but good morning to you, Patisa. Just talk us through what exactly is taking place uh, in Durban. We do know that this massive strike or protest action is set to take place uh, today. It is a uh, protected uh, march, protected demonstration. What's the latest details coming from Durban this morning? Uh, well, it's been uh, a slow start here in Durban. Members are slowly coming in here at King Dinuzulu Park where the members of Kosatu and other alliances will be meeting. We are meeting here at King Dinuzul and they will be making their way through the Deben CBD to the City Hall where the Premier of KwaZulu Natal is expected to accept the memorandum from the matches here. But people have started gathering here as they are making their way uh, through here at King at King Dinuzulu start. The match is expected to start at about 10 but it looks like uh, it will run a bit late here in Deben and the way Weather also, we've had a miserable weather for the past few days where it's been raining, but today it looks like the, for the March will be, uh, they have clear skies uh, for the weather for the weather today. But going back to the March, uh, as you know that yesterday we had a briefing with Kosati where they were saying that uh, all members of unions are welcome to come join the March, as, they, as you said, that it's a section 777 seven, seven March, saying that it is a protected strike, no one will be fired from participating. Participating uh, in the strike today, so they expect numbers to make their way through as they march uh, to the Deben City Hall. Uh, but now I'm joined by the provincial secretary for the SACP here in KwaZulu Natal, Babum Tembu. Uh, Babum Tembu, thank you so much for joining us. SACP joining Kosatu as they march through to the Deben CBD. You can just tell us why it is SACP decided to join us. Uh, why has the SCCP uh, decided to join this march? Because uh, we were uh, also the one who was uh, who raised the issue of the state capture, uh, knowing that this uh, state capture is one of the most dangerous phenomenon manifesting itself uh, in the country, uh, which is mostly going to affect. Uh, the workers, which is most going to eat at our hard gain liberation. So that's why we are here. Uh, Babum Temba, see people are starting to arrive. Uh, we don't have quite a big number as yet here in Deben. How many people do we expect to be participating today? Uh, you can see that uh, it's just the walk-ins uh, that are here for now. 
uh, because we are still expecting some buses uh, to deliver the, uh, uh, our, our members. You know Wazu Natal is a vast uh, a, a province, so usually in such much matches you expect that they may start later than expected. Babum Tebo, just going back to the issue of March, we've always had marches where people hand over memorandums and we don't hear anything of it. How successful do you think uh, this mobilization, which is nationwide, is going to be to ensure that uh, the state capture ends? You know, this is the start uh, of a max action uh, on this uh, 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 state capture uh, 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 story. Uh, so it will build from uh, as we uh, move forward uh, with it. So we hope that uh, by today it will also educate our communities uh, about what is happening uh, around them. So that's why it is very imp this march uh, becomes a very important march uh, to start to uh, conscientize our communities uh, about the dangers. Uh, that is going uh, to offset their uh, liberation, uh, that is going to uh, tend to dilute uh, our democracy. Thank you very much, Wabum Tembe, for joining us. That was Temba Mtembe, who is the provincial secretary for SACP here in KwaZulu Natal. Uh, as he was saying, that uh, they hope that by having mass mobilization like this, uh, they're going to conscientize the people out there to, so that they are more educated as to what is happening in around the country. As we've heard him say, that uh, it is a slow start here in Deben, uh, where they're expecting buses to come true with people uh, as their day progresses. Progresses, but he's saying that as you know that Kwazulu Natal is a big province. Some areas like Nongoma, Ulundi, they are probably about four hours away from Devon. So they are expecting those buses with all the workers to make their way through here at King Dinuzulu Park. Uh, as I've said, that we'll be moving from here at King Dinuzulu down at the road, which is uh, on our left hand side, to the Devon City Hall, where Kosaji is expecting thousands of, of people from Devon to join their march. Patisa, just before I move on from you, you did mention that there are large amounts of people expected at this march. Uh, buses are expected to be coming in soon. Just talk us through the current uh, traffic situation there in Durban, uh, around the area you are in. Has a provision been made for this massive uh, protest action set for today? Uh, yes, definitely. A Tekono municipality did issue a statement saying that people must avoid the Big Slicker Seme, which is the road that uh, will, is heading to the city hall. Uh, and also uh, roads are leading to that. Remember, where we are now, there is a taxi rank right on my left-hand side. So there are police, there are metropolis who are here to guide the traffic as the workers will be making their way through. At the moment, uh, the traffic is still flowing because they haven't started gathering yet. It's still a bit empty but as the day progresses I'm not sure if the cameraman can show you uh, there are police uh, on, on our left hand side who are here to ensure that there is free flow of traffic as you can see members are standing by the music uh, started playing as people are starting to mobilize uh, for to get it ready to get ready for the march here at King Dinozulu Park in Durban. Thank you very much, uh, Patisa. Stay with us. We will continue to engage with you uh, a little bit later. That was ANSM reporter Patisa Mfuyu coming to us uh, live uh, from Durban. A slow start uh, in Durban this morning, but things are set to pick up pace a little bit later. Uh, let's head back to uh, Gauteng now. ANSM reporter Lungani Mguni uh, joins us live uh, from Kasatu House. Good, uh, good morning to you, uh, Lungani. Just uh, talk us through what the current situation is outside of uh, Kasatu House this morning. We heard from Natasha earlier. We did see that uh, crowds were starting to arrive and that things were starting to happen. What's the current situation outside Kasatu House? A very good morning, Abigail, and a good morning to our visitor. Um, Abigail, this is rather a different start compared to the other provinces such as Durban, where we can say that members of all the different alliance partners that have gathered this morning, uh, as we understand that the march will take place just in the next hour or so. Just to take you through the demographical uh, spaces here, we uh, understand that there's no traffic that has been uh, located at the moment, but we can confirm that the, the Johannesburg Metro Department uh, are currently on scene assessing the situation, ensuring that the traffic is free flowing before the start of the march and during the course of the march. But 
Abigail, I can confirm that there are no reports as yet of any roads being blockaded or any traffic. Traffic is still flowing in and, in, in and around the area. But Abigail, just to take you through uh, the mood currently, we do have SACP and NC supporters here present with us today. Just to give us as to what are they expecting today and why you're here, we understand they are supporting the march. Uh, very good uh, morning, Baba. How are you? Thank you very much. So we understand as members of the SACP, you guys are fully behind this march today. Can you just kindly tell us what motivated your support and what are you guys expecting out of today's march? Yes, we support this march because we are against, we are against corruption, against the state capture. We say to, to every South African, you must stand up against state, corrupt, state cor uh, capture and corruption in, in our country. That's why we are saying we need to elect a president that is very, very uh, coerced and very, who can unite our, our, our nation, who can, who can economize our, our economy. Uh, a very interesting uh, point that you raised there. So you're speaking of uh, a cohesive uh, president. Well, if you mention state capture, is the president also part of that state capture? Uh, we're saying, uh, because our, 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 we have a challenge, we're saying to the, to, to the nation that uh, we need to elect the new president. The, the former president is not uh, up to scratch now. Especially when you, 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 you look at the Guptas, the Guptas, uh, the leaks and blah, blah. So we say, no, 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 no. We, are, we, are, we have to elect the president that is going to talk about corruption. That is going to, to say, I'm going to deal with, with corruption. Not only talking about corruption, but to deal with corruption. Because corruption is now stealing our economy, is bankrupting our economy, is bankrupting our, our, our nation. So we understand that. So you speak of the Guptas, you speak of the leaks, you're speaking of corruption. Yes. So today basically is mainly about the Guptas and corruption. Uh, is this the part where we also um, generalize uh, as white monopoly capital on its own as it also still forms of state capture? You speak of economy. Just kindly take us through that also. Uh, about the, 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 the uh, 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 monopoly capitalism. Yes, monopoly, monopoly capitalism is also part of our, our march today because we don't want to say uh, people must be. Uh, I mean, you can't say uh, capitalism is, 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 is win and socialism has failed. No, 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 no. We are saying we have to socialize this country because monopoly capitalism is bankrupting our country very seriously. So. Thank you very much. They're having it there from our very vocal guest from the SACP telling us that today's uh, fight for them is just uh, uh, over state capture, corruption and labor brokers. Well, just Abigail, to give you a further uh, view of the people that we have around us, just to give us their insights as to how, why are they supporting this march and what are they expecting out of this march. I do have Meha Tebe here with me. Uh, a very good morning, man. Thank you for joining us. So that's why I'm here to support Kosatu. I'm a member of ANC and I tanda kakhulu ANC angeke ngiyeke. Angoni next to ANC I'm fine. Thank you very much. Thank you. Having it there from Meha Debe telling us that uh, she's also supporting this march because she's also a, a, a victim of abuse uh, from the issues that they have raised today, saying that he will continue to support the ANC, but she's supporting the cause that Kusatu are taking it on today. Just to clear again, Abigail, in terms of the demographics of the era and traffic flow, we have seen uh, members gathering in their numbers now. We can then confirm that there are police authorities on, on location trying to assess the situation. I'll just ask my camera person just to pan around to show you the situation situation currently we do have authorities on the road we do have a, a traffic is still free flowing but we will be on the ground giving you uh, updates as the march progresses Danny, just before i let you go we can hear uh, singing uh, has started now well, just talk us through uh, the current mood there outside of a kasatu house and just talk us through what exactly the people who have gathered there are doing uh, what they are singing and just just the, the general mood outside of kasatu house please uh, Abigail, I can say that uh, the people are very, very, very much uh, active today. They are in a very good mood. As you can see right behind me, there's a bus that just stopped with people coming out. They are still singing. Uh, they are very agitated. They are very active today. I can confirm, Abigail, it's going to be a long day. People are in a mood to march and express their feelings and views concerning the issues that they are faced with in South Africa. Thus, we're going to continue to engage uh, with you this morning. Uh, let's head over now to uh, Citibank, uh, where uh, another one of ANN7 reporters on standby uh, for us this morning. It's uh, Hitlengiwe Motahung. She joins us live from Simmons Street uh, in Johannesburg. Good morning to you, Hitlengiwe. Just talk us through uh, what the mood is uh, in Simmons Street uh, this morning. We've heard from uh, Durban. We've heard from what's happening outside Kosatu House as well. Uh, things have started slow in Durban this morning. Morning. What's the situation where you are?
We will try and get uh, Tlingiwe back onto uh, the line there just to take us through what the current situation is in Simmons Street outside of uh, City Bank. But as uh, you've seen, we've got reporters across the Gauteng province. We've got reporters uh, outside of uh, Kasatu House. We've also got reporters in uh, Durban. Things started uh, fairly slowly this morning in Durban, but uh, things are anticipated uh, to pick up. Uh, things have definitely started off on a high note in, uh, uh, in Johannesburg outside of uh, Kasatu House. As you saw, that numerous uh, protesters and people who have joined in on this march have gathered uh, outside of uh, Kasatu House. So with regards to traffic, see, uh, things do seem to be uh, under control as of now. We heard from reporter Lungani Mguni that uh, Johannesburg Metro Police uh, is on the ground and they are ensuring that traffic uh, is uh, moving uh, moving flowingly uh, this morning. Uh, but we will keep you up to date with any further details and developments.